my fellow YouTubers. I have done this video before, but somehow it got deleted off my channel. So I'm gonna do another quick video on my backpacking pillows. First one I bought was this big Agnes. And uh, I slept on it a few times, but it didn't feel like it was gonna be the ultimate pillow for me. It was a little slippery. So I threw that aside and I went with this next one, the cocoon. And um, it was okay, but I never could figure out which side to sleep on, whether it was this side or this side. And so um, that didn't work for me either. So then I went with a fillo. This is called a fillo, F-I-L-L. -L. It, it was okay, but the problem I had with those these three pillows was the valve. I'm a rotisserie sleeper. In other words, I'm turning <laughs> around all night. And I start off with my pillow fairly hard because I, I get sleepy on my back. And then as I turn over, I like to loosen it up and let some air out to soften it up. The problem was these, these valves require two hands to hold it and turn it, pull it. And um, you let out too much or not enough. So the valves bothered me. So then I bought this pillow here. Or it's called uh, Nature Height. I got it from um, AliExpress. I think it was seven or eight dollars. And um, what what it did, I didn't like it either. But what it did, it did have a different valve system where you could push the little button and let air out. So that that was when I discovered, oh, okay, maybe I need this kind of system, a valve like that. So that that wasn't the ultimate pillar. But anyway, I went and found. These uh, Sea to Summit, this particular one is called an Ar Eros. Let's see, it comes in this little teeny Eros pillar. It's a large, it comes in this little teeny stuff sack. And uh, I liked it because during the night, all I had to do, it had this valve. You could just reach back there and see, let the air out until you got it to the softness you wanted. In fact, I like this large one so much that I <laughs> invested in the deluxe model. <laughs> it's the same thing, except it, it's, a, it's, a, it's just bigger. But anyway, so so that's fine. And uh, and uh, I do I do the reason I had to. You think that just one pillar is gonna work, but what happened was in my uh, big Agnes sleeping bag I had a hood, and on this small pillow would slide up under it, whereas this big big one I couldn't get up under it so in the winter time I have to use this one and in the summertime I'm able to use this deluxe model and then there's one more thing you need to be aware of if you buy these pillows just about any of them uh, sleeping pads pillows you need to pay particular attention to how the factory or the, how the uh, manufacturer stuffs them in these little stuff sacks now I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate this one here on this deluxe for you because I did pay attention, <laughs> I learned from experience to figure out how they do it because you will have trouble trying to stuff a big pillow back in a little teeny sack. Now here's how we're gonna get it back in this little pack, okay? The way I do it is I fold it in half and fold it in half again. Now the trick is this valve has to be open. Then you fold it in and then fold this one in and then over. Now see, we're almost there, almost. Now then to get it back in this little bag, There you go. There was one more thing. I found out with these particular Sea to Summit pillars, I use, I can take my bandana and use it as a pillow case. And see, 
I, believe it or not, it'll stay there all night. And of course, it can catch any drool <laughs> that you may have. But yeah, you can pull it all around. It don't. It don't see. It stays there all night. It doesn't come off. Okay. Now that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Very important to me.